the name is kind of on the tin with this one, you are gonna need your lean Pilates ball. Most important thing is it's actually around 75, 80% inflated. You can see it isn't the full way inflated. So let a little bit of air out if you need to. And we're gonna be using this pretty much throughout the entire week, uh, weekend workout. We're getting started in 15 seconds. There are gonna be some really unique movements in there that you probably haven't done before. So just have fun, go with it, flow with it, come up onto all fours, spread those fingertips for me. We're just gonna start off with a few cat cows without the ball. So the timer has started. Peel your spine round, eye gaze towards the knees, breath in, breath out, eye gaze towards the fingertips, really lower through that spine, drawing the shoulder blades down and in. Good, keep going with that deep breathing control in through the nose, sighing it out through the mouth. Amazing work, guys. And just start introducing a little bit of lateral sway, side to side, on or where your body is feeling tight, wherever it is. Just pause and hold there for a split second. Good work. Amazing. Oh, I am tight today. So we're going to start off by placing the ball underneath your left hand. From here, just placing about 50% pressure onto it. So you do want to have nice pressure through both hands here. You're now going to shoot the right leg back to a nice, strong, straight line. From there, draw the right knee in towards the chest and then back out again. Amazing work. Breath in, draw in. Breath out, straighten back. Really turning on the glutes here. We're starting off nice and easy for this workout, but trust me, it is gonna increase. You guys know me by now. You've got just two more here. Okay, we're gonna start introducing the arm now. As you crunch in, I want that arm to straighten out. Your hand's gonna literally come off the end of it, okay? Crunch in, and then as you straighten back, you draw the arm back in again. Good work. Good, keep breathing. Amazing, guys. Keep those glutes nice and strong, those booty muscles, keep your core engaged. Two more. Pushing through that ball. Okay, hold the arm out, straighten the leg out. This time you're gonna tap down with the foot, up, then crunch both in and out. Foot down, up, crunch arm and leg in, and out. It's amazing work. This is a really beautiful stability warm up for this workout. Halfway four, four left. Amazing. Try not to let those hips sway. Keeping super stable. One more. Now hold it out for me and tap the toes down and up. Two, good. Three. Really squeezing those glutes. Halfway four. Five. If you got some. Six. Amazing. Seven. Now adjust your hand, place it on top of the ball, reach it all the way out. Tiny little pump-ups now. Good. Lifting that leg up nice and high, squeezing the glutes, but not overarching the back. Keep looking down. Last four. Three, keep pressure through that ball. Two, okay, lift up the ball for me. Reach the hand towards the opposite knee and straighten out. Eight of these only. Good work, guys. Really, really control the movement. That's three. Four. Just two more. Really good back. Okay, now hold out nice and strong, super stable. Make sure you haven't shifted back. That weight is still over that right hand. Nice, strong, straight line. Pump up the arm and the leg. Eight, 
seven, slow controlled movements, belly button back towards the spine, last four, three, shoulders away from the ears, two, and one, take a second to just look at me, what I mean by that, a lot of the time we tend to do this, roll those shoulders away from the ears, hold, 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 three, higher, two, and down we come, one, well done, quick shell stretch, reaching those hands on towards the ball, Woo. and we're gonna even you out, this is just a warm up, remember you guys, okay, so we're starting off just with the leg lift, and drawing it in, good work, so remember your weight is still through that other hand, so evenly distributed between the left and the right hand, which is tough when you're on a ball. You have three left. Good work. Always thinking about that core, turning it on. Two, last one, and one. Hold that leg out strong. Now I want you to take that body weight forward over the right hand as you reach. Keep nice and strong through this left hand. Draw that right hand back in again. Okay, so we're gonna crunch the knee in as we straighten the leg out. Leg out, arm out, and then we push both back behind us. So reach forward with the hand and the knee, and straighten that leg out as the arm draws back in. That's two. Keep breathing. Breath in as we move that body forward. Breath out as we draw it back. Incredible work. You are putting weight through that right side, guys. Good, just two left. Super strong through those left glutes, last one. Amazing, shift that ball forward, keep the leg out. Incredible, we're now gonna mix it up. We're gonna crunch in with both and straighten out with both. Keep it super controlled. Good, now with each crunch in, I want you to try and get that knee a little bit further forward towards the chest. Really start turning on those core muscles, those deep pelvic floor muscles, zipping up and in. Two left. Amazing work. Last one. Really good, I want you to hold that arm and leg out nice and strong. Adjust where your fingertips are on the ball. Reach as far out as you can. You're gonna tap the foot down and up. Eight. Seven, making sure the body weight isn't back. You're leaning forward into that ball. Five. Four, you're nearly there. Three. Two. Okay, hold up super strong through that leg. Hold, hold, hold. Reach, reach, reach through that hand. Shoulders away from the ears. Pump the leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it strong. Hold, hold, hold. Really good work. Turn on those glutes on the left side. Four, three, two. Now lift up the ball. Good work. And crunch elbow, or I should say hand to opposite knee. Super controlled. Two. Really good. Three. Keep breathing, keep controlling the movement. Four, halfway. Super, super, super strong through those left glute muscles. Incredible. Two. Good, hold it up strong one. Really nice and high. Really good work guys, pump it up. Eight, seven, arm and leg, six, five, nearly there. Four, three, higher with those glutes on the left side. And hold up strong, hold up strong, you can do it. Push through that left hand, spread those fingertips. Four, higher with the leg, three, two, a little higher. And one, shell stretch. Really good work, guys. Okay, we're moving into a nice intense core section now, just to warm up into those core muscles. 
then we are pretty much going in, okay? I told you it starts off okay, then it majorly ramps up. You're actually gonna place the ball just behind your back into the area where your rib cage is, okay? So not super low here. We're a little bit higher than where we have been in the past. From here, you're gonna start off by flattening your feet, placing your fingertips behind the back of your head and interlocking your fingers loosely. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Single leg, double leg, tabletop, 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. We're already here, we're holding, we're breathing. Four, three, core tight, belly button back towards the spine. Two, okay, we're going for a scissor, right toes down, down, up, left, down, up. Good work, breath out, breath in, breath out, breath in, amazing. This little sequence is not long, but it's gonna be intense, then we're coming back to core. Amazing work, last four, last three, breathe, two. Okay, keep going there if that's enough, otherwise double leg, down and up. Really good work. Halfway four, glue those inner thighs together while you're doing this. Four left, three, two, and one, no break, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up, and straighten. Good work. Good, alternating sides. If this feels too much, by the way, keep going. Place your hands down and just go single leg. You have four left, you guys. Three, amazing. Two, okay, and one. Hold those legs up, hold, 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 four, three. I'm sorry, it's double leg, so you straighten as close to 45 degrees as you can. Really good work. Halfway four, four left, that's all. Keep breathing. Three, two, okay, we're gonna hold. If you can, straighten those arms out for eight, seven, nice and strong, inner thighs together, legs together. Three, two, and knees into your chest, one. Well done, flatten the feet down. Reach your upper body over the ball. Woo, that was just a little almost interlude for core. Now we do have a nice transition, one more core exercise. You're gonna bring yourself all the way up into sitting. Place the ball now in between the inner thighs and you're on all fours. So we're gonna start off with a bit of core, then back into full body, then isolating legs. So spreading those fingertips, making sure that the wrists are directly underneath the shoulders. Same for the knees and the hips from here. Tuck the toes under, lift just an inch off the floor. Squeeze that ball for me at 50% of your maximum. Hold, hold, hold. Four, three, turn that core on. The core is up and in. Two, okay, shift the body weight forward and back, let's go. Really good. You should be feeling that your core muscles are engaged here. Incredible, rib cage down and in. Three, three, two, and one. My favorite part, open the legs, drop the ball, lower down a few inches, scoop that ball up and lift. Good. This is one of them that looks quite easy, but after a while, oh my gosh, it burns. Incredible, you guys. If this feels like too much, lower all the way down, reset, lift, lower all the way down, reset. You've still got eight left, keep it going. Seven. Five. Four. Three, amazing. Two, no break, hold it up. Drop the left hip down towards the floor, literally tap it and back up again, other side. Good, it's a tiny tap. Four, nearly there. Three, two, last one. And one, hold in neutral. You're now gonna go one and a half. So you come all the way down, halfway up, all the way down, other side. So it's just a little lift and back round again. You should be feeling your shoulders. This is number four. Into your waist. 
Incredible. Keep it going. Six, two more. Seven. Okay, we have a little finisher here. Back into your box shape. Take that body weight back forward over the hands. Good work. Now squeeze the ball. Eight. Seven. Squeeze and release. Six. Pull that core in. Five. Really squeeze. Literally try and burst the ball. Four. Three. Body weight forward over the hands. Two. Hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Eight. Seven. Squeeze. Six. Five. Come on. Four. Three. Squeeze more. And lower down. One. Take that ball out. Back into that shell stretch. Whoo. Breathe. Incredible. Incredible work. Wow. Okay. We're sticking with all fours, but we're going to start mixing it up a little bit. Okay. So, ball off to the side for now. Literally for a split second. Don't get too excited. Spread those fingertips. Bring yourself into a pike position and push yourself up and over into a pike. Downward facing dog, chest back towards the thighs. And then just cycle those legs out a few times. Pushing through one heel, followed by the other. Amazing. From here, bring yourself forward into a plank. And back into a pike. You're going to do eight of those at your own pace. Incredible. Two more. Really, really good work. We're now going to go into a three-legged dog Pilates style. So bring yourself down onto your knees. Take your ball and place it behind your right knee. You're going to have to lock it in by flexing the foot, okay, and bending through that knee. From here, spread those fingertips. You're going to take yourself back into a plank position with the left leg and then hover the right leg up. Push yourself back into that pike position. As you shift that body weight forward into your plank, draw your right knee in towards your chest and back. Obviously keeping that right knee bent, otherwise you're going to lose your ball. Halfway four. Incredible work, guys. Two more. Woo! Hold it in. Hold it in. And now pulse it forward. Eight. Seven. Six, five, amazing. Four, three, two, point the toes on the right side. Tap the knee down and up. It's as far forward as possible, okay? Two, three, four, five, come on. Six, seven, now hold it up for four, for three, further forward, two, and lower down one, amazing. I'm gonna go straight onto that other side, straighten that leg out, lock it in, no break. We start off with those pikes to planks. Alrighty, you can do this guys. Straighten that right leg out this time. Okay, push yourself up and over. Woo. Lifting nice and high, enjoy that stretch. Three. Two. Okay, we're coming in and out, let's go. Eight. Seven. Really shift that body weight. Forward and back. Just two more. Last one. Come on, last one. Okay, hold it forward. You know the deal. Push it forward. Eight, seven, six. Really, really turn these core muscles on, okay? Five, four, three, Two, point the toe, down and up. Eight. Body weight forward, four, three, higher, two. Okay, shift it forward, hold four. Hold three, further forward, two, and lower down one. Wow, wow, wow. Now I'm so sorry, there's one more variation that we're gonna do in this same position, then we're going pure legs, okay? Just have a moment, just breathe. Reach those arms up and over the head. Woo, allow the ribcage to flare. Okay, 
the ball of doom is going in the back of the leg again. This time we're back on all fours. We just have some donkey kick pumps. There are two levels to this. If you want to, you can stay down like so and just pump up. But if you want to make it a little bit harder for that upper body, for that core, you're actually going to tuck the left toes under and lift a few inches. All right, let's start off with the lift. Tuck both toes under, lift a few inches, shift the body weight onto the left side, hop of the right leg. Let's go up. Eight, seven, six, this is all. Five, four, three, two. Now hold it up. Four, three, higher, two, and lower down one. That's literally it. Straight onto the other side. Whoo, three, Two, one, up we come, lift, 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 lift. Come on, this is like a little challenge. We can do this, hop of the left leg, pump it up. Eight, seven, six, five, amazing. Four, three, two, hold it up high. Four, three, two, and one. I already know your upper body is already struggling, okay? So we're gonna give it a minute. Well, more than a minute, we're coming into side work series now. Pure lower body control, a little bit of inner thighs, outer thighs, and then we work into that corset, that core as well. So this is a little bit different to what you're used to. You're gonna come down into your side, but you're gonna be balancing your legs on the ball. So, I think you've got this. You've got this, easy. So you're coming down into your side, that underneath leg is locked out nice and straight. Very small micro bend here. Coming all the way down if you can and supporting your head onto your hand. If that feels not great, you can come into this position, but most important is to lift that waist, okay? I prefer coming down like this, lifting that waist. Take those inner thighs together, nice and strong. Beginner's hands here, intermediate hip, advanced up. You're gonna start off just by lifting your leg up and back down again. We're not going super high. You're gonna lose that control. It's not too high at all. Maximum 45 degree angle. Let's go. Lift, lower. Breathe, breath out, breath in. Amazing, guys. Focus. Close your eyes if you want to. Get into that nice, strong rhythm and start feeling that outer thigh. Last four, and outer booty. Three, two, hold it up. Now little pulses, eight, and seven, and six, and five. Four, three, two, and one. Halfway down, and up. Halfway down, up, amazing. Five, six, Seven. Okay, with pointed toes, bring the leg forward. Flex it, bring it back. All the way past neutral if you can. Trust me, I get it, your full body is on fire right now. I told you it would be. Guys, if you have been picking random workouts here and there and you're so frustrated because you're not getting the results that you know you deserve, it's because you're not doing a structured science-based guide. Now, if you want to get in the best shape and mindset and transform your life, the eight-week lean transformation method combining Pilates here and strength all from home. Details are down there, don't miss out. And yeah, come join us. Ooh, my glutes are already turned on, I tell you that much. Five, keep it a nice stable height. If you can, I know it's hard, probably rocking all over the place. But you're stronger than you think. Come on, turn that core on, two more. Last one. Good, take it back into extension. Your glute max should be turned on, that big butt muscle, okay? From here in extension, pump it up. Eight, slow and controlled. Seven, five, core tight. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it strong, really turn on those glutes. Now we're gonna try and arc up and over. Hand down if you need it. You're coming all the way up and over and back. That's one. Two, incredible work. Wow, I am feeling this. Three. Four, halfway. 
five. You want to be pushing through this ball, not just the hand, okay? That's why I encourage you to try and lift it, even if it's just a few inches. Six, two more. Seven, last one, last one. Bring it forward, toe down, heel up, pump it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Try and hold, hold further forward and lower down. Give that booty a hit. How hard is that, by the way? It's one of those where you look at it and you're like, nah, I'll be fine, then you do it. Oh my gosh, okay, we have got to even you out. Swing those legs around for me. You're gonna place now the other leg on top of the ball, come all the way down if you can, and make sure you're actually pressing through the ball. You're not just cheating and pressing through your hand instead, okay? Slight bend in that underneath leg. Good, nice strong legs for me, balancing, whoop, there we go, on that hip joint, may take a second. You want to be nice and straight, so not rolling forward, not rolling backwards, balancing on that hip joint. From here, lift and lower, really good work, focus, breathe. By the way, if your hip is hurting, you can actually put something underneath it, a towel, or double over your mat. When I first did this, it used to be exactly the same for me. Now, I think my hips have just got used to it. <laughs> like, how many years of Pilates now? Nearly 15, I think. Four. Three, it's like the definition of Pilates hips. They just get used to that pressure. <laughs> Hold up nice and high. Good, and you're gonna pulse. Eight, and seven, and six. Five, core tight, four, rib cage down, three, two, and one. You're gonna lower halfway down and up. Good. Now you know how I always say to you, lower with meaning? Pretend that the room is full of like thick, warm, I'm gonna say warm, thick, warm honey, and you're trying to push your way through it, okay? Completely lost count, but I love the analogy. Three, I think, two, and one, we have those swoops now. So you're gonna bring the leg forward, point, pointed toe, can't get my words out, then back, flex the foot. Good work, forward and back. Take it back into extension, turn on those glute max muscles. This is number three, amazing. I know this is hard by the way, can I just say you are killing it? That's number six. Make sure you are pushing through that ball. Seven, two more. One more, I cannot count. Oh my gosh, leg back into extension. Hold it strong, turn on those glute muscles. Give those glutes a touch, a hit. Make sure that they are turned on. From there, push the leg up. Eight, seven, it's controlled. Six, our rib cage is down. Five, breathing, four. Three, two, now this is where the magic happens. Take all of your strength from that position to arc the leg forward, woo, and back. That's one. Now if anyone really wants to make these harder at any point, you can actually take a weight, a dumbbell or any weight, place it on the outside of the thigh and just support it there. And that is gonna majorly up this. This is number four. Keep it going. Five. Six, just two more. Make sure it's going back into extension. Oh, seven, last one. And eight, you're gonna bring it forward now. You're gonna hold it strong. Toe down, heel up, pump. Eight, seven, Six, come on strong. Five, four, three, two. Bring it further forward. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And down. Give those glutes a hit. Wow, you guys. You're just gonna turn onto your back for a split second. Hook that left heel over the right knee. And then from there, oh my gosh, hug into your chest. To increase the stretch, you're actually gonna straighten that right leg out a little more, not the whole way and you're gonna feel that that increases the stretch in the left glute a little more. Good, hug in nice and tight. Three, two, 
And well, we're gonna go straight onto the other side. Minimal breaks in today's workout. Hug in tight. Again, to increase that stretch. Just straighten out the left knee a little. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, take that ball and move it closer towards your upper body. It's gonna be coming underneath the left hand if you're lying on your right side, so the upper hand. Take that other underneath arm out, long in front of you, okay? Both legs are long across the mat. You're gonna be pushing into your left hand to lift the upper body up and back down again. We are gonna start including the lower body as well. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Push up, lift, and lower. Good, let's just go with two more of these. Incredible work, guys. Last one. And back down. This time, only if you want to, you can go with an upper leg hover. And back down again. Good, two more. And last one. Okay, hold it there. Meet the underneath leg to the upper leg. And back down, two. Three, try and stay nice and high. Four, push through that ball. Five, nearly there. Six, two more. Seven, hold both legs up, pump them up. Eight, seven, you're high through that upper body. Five, breathe, four, three, two, and one, amazing work. From there, place your upper leg onto that ball. Take that underneath arm out like it already is, nice and strong. Rest that upper leg down, lift and lower. Seven, six, five. I know you are literally on fire right now. This is almost like a transition rest period. Four, I don't know why I'm calling this rest. Three, two, okay, hold up strong. Really nice and strong, work that inner thigh. Hold strong, now pulse it. Eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, hold up, hold up. Now draw some circles, eight, seven, tiny little circles, five, four, three, two, okay, change in direction for me, eight, seven, good work, six, five, even higher, four, three, two, hold it, Nice and high, a little higher. Three, two, higher. And lower down one. Good work, you guys. One strong roll up. Your arms are up and over your head. Bring yourself all the way up. Amazing. And we're gonna go onto the other side. Swing those legs around. Really good work. The ball's gonna come underneath that upper hand. We're starting off just with that lift. Pushing up and lowering down. Two. Three, really push through that hand. This underneath hand is just here for a little bit of support, okay? Most of the work is this upper one. Lift the leg as you raise. Two. Amazing work. Three. Hold up. Hold strong. Underneath leg up and lower. Breathe, breath out as you lift, breath in as you lower. This takes coordination, hey? Five. Six. Two more. Seven, last one. Hold it up, hold it strong. If you can, pump up. Eight. Seven, I'm trying to work out what animal I feel I look like right here, but it's not a pretty one. <laughs> Four. Three, you can do it. Two, now give me a hold. Give me all that strength into those waist muscles, those obliques. Hold strong, higher, higher, higher. Three, two, one last pump up. And lower down, amazing. Place that upper leg onto the ball. So the last bit before we come into our standing sequence to end, we lift and we lower. Seven, six, strong movements. Five, four, three, 
two, hold it up, hold it strong. Come on, really lengthen those toes away from the head and then lift as high as you can. Pump it up, up, up. Three, four, five, six, higher, seven. Hold it up, draw those circles, eight in each direction. They are small, they are controlled. Three, four. So pretend you have a pencil on the end of your big toe right now, okay? Are you drawing circles or are you drawing like some squiff square? Change direction. I wanna see circles. Three. Four. Five. Six, just two more. Seven. Hold it up. Four, higher. Three, higher. Two, higher. And one. Wow, you guys, onto your back. Open the knees apart, feet together. Just a little stretch there. Reach your arms up and over your head with the ball. Don't get rid of the ball, we're still gonna be using the ball. Okay, from here, one deep breath in, breath out, sit up. Amazing, and you're coming up into standing. Last five minutes, under five minutes, right. I am sorry for what is about to happen, but you're gonna love me at the same time at placing your left heel onto the ball. The higher up your heels are, the harder it is. So if you come more here, okay, that's easier. Up like this is obviously harder. We're getting started in 15 seconds. I'm giving you a little bit of time to come onto the ball. Step the other leg out. Now, as best as possible, you're gonna be hitched up. Try and even the hips out as much as you can. All right, 30 seconds each exercise, going in three, two, really simple. We're starting off with a nice low squat. Good work. Two minutes each leg. And trust me, I'm gonna burn your legs. <laughs> Good work. You should know this by now with me. You know you're nearly there though at the same time. I don't know, it's a love-hate relationship, you know? We're in it together. If you burn, I burn. Three, <laughs> two, don't know why I do it to myself, um, myself and one. Shift the body weight over now onto this ball leg. Take that other leg out to the side and draw it in. The more you bend this leg that is on the ball, the harder it's going to be. Good, trust that ball, trust yourself. Focus on a still point in front of you and I'm probably gonna stop talking just so I keep my balance. Good work, three, two, okay. Hold that leg out if you can, lift and lower. Good, come off the ball if it's too much. Now try to not tap the foot down to the floor. Keep it in hover as you lift and lower. We're already halfway, this is hard. Good, amazing you guys, super proud of you. Keep it going, five, four, three, two, and one. One big step back and forward. Amazing. Keep it moving. Good, sink really low for me. Now hold it back and pulse it. 10 seconds only, 10, nine, eight, slower, seven, five, four, three, two, one, movement back up and changing onto the other side, starting off with those deep squats. Even those hips out as much as possible, okay? Don't hinge up, even up, down we come. Incredible. Let's speed these squats up on this side if you feel you can. Make sure you're not just taking all your body weight onto that stable side. We are 50-50, 50% 50, 50, 50 left, 50% right, four, three, Two, one more, and one. Shift that body weight onto the ball side. Micro bend through that knee, step it out and in. If you are feeling ambitious, come lower. Come on, you're into your last few minutes of work. Let's make it really nice and strong. Good, this leg is super strong and straight on the ball. Your knee is tracking over your middle toe. Your chest is proud and open. Good, now we go with those lift and lowers. This is definitely 
Not my strongest side, but we're gonna go with it. Amazing. Bend a little lower through that knee and that hip if you can. Okay, now the hard work happens. Can you hover that leg? Do not let it touch the floor. Good work. Good work. Bend that knee a little more. Five. Four. Three, don't let it touch the floor. One strong movement, step it back. Amazing, and forward. Really good work, guys. Good work, come on. We can do this. You got 10 seconds left. Okay, hold it down, pulse it. 10, nine, eight, seven. The timer is officially over now, but let's keep going. Last four, three, two, one step forward. And one, we are gonna do a burnout. Then that is it. Place the ball in between the thighs. I promise it's two exercises, that is all. And we're going on reps. All right, I want you to take those feet closer than shoulder distance, so nice and close. Come up onto the toes, squeeze the ball. Come down, so not all the way down. That's easy. We're here, we're gonna squeeze that ball in for 10. Squeeze, nine and eight, seven, six, five, four. Squeeze the glutes, three, two, now pulse up, 10, nine, eight, squeeze the ball, seven, six, five, four, three, two, no hands, drop the ball, and one, step onto the ball, take your heels together, feet apart, toes apart, come down and up, nine, all, not all the way up, okay, seven, six, this is your last exercise, five, push up through that ball, four, three, Two, hold it down, pulse it, 10, and nine, and eight, then you're down, seven, six, push up through those heels, five, four, chest open, three, two, and one, we made it, oh my gosh. Honestly, you're like buying an entire gym. You are crazy, I love you. I love that it says you've got this because I probably wouldn't have got through it otherwise. Guys, do not forget to stretch. I absolutely love that. Guys, I love you, you smashed it. Well done, I really hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>